Banda. Thank you for joining us on yet another episode of Asaka Sports. Um, they say Dynamas come in small packages, and I'm sure most Highlanders fans will testify to that because uh, in the early 2000s, we managed to witness one of the greatest midfielders who played the Highlanders t shirt, and uh, his name is Richard Chogoma. So today, we are going to be taking this opportunity. Which is Kulum Sanelai, actually shared with us his story from the time the Sanelai Highlanders up to where he is right now. We are going to take this opportunity to find a similar movie and we'll program it on a circus sports. Richie, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for this opportunity. It's been great for the show. Samawa Kuluma, or maybe I see Zamu Kamila in the Vedan in the Afanya Sunday, the two big teams of Zimbabwe are going to be clashing. We want to learn about it. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting game because I'm going to these days are a little bit of 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 People are at But if you one over the So it can almost be Yeah. I know that's nice. So, what do you think? Can you predict the score? I'm afraid to but I think here is the same way about the I think the game is the game. That's nice. Um, maybe just to keep the ball rolling with your age, you started your career. Wait, 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 wait. Where did it all begin for you? Who's the one who did it? And I'm very for And I uh, managed to support your new talent. Uh, yes, I am glad because I'm fully left family. I'm not very poor. My mom was a little poor after I was about to say. And also my dad was a father that was a little poor after I was about to say. So I'm glad to be here. 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 So it was for me. Now, you tell us that I was here in Havana. But figure in a way with you, you are needed by Highlanders. I mean, like briefly, can you just summarize which tell you with you, what does it take or how did it feel to play for you also? And uh, how was your spell to sign for Lela in each number? I would say it's very right because you are in the space before guys that are in the front of the room. You know, the Highlanders. From much as the Highlanders, in a sense, you are actually in a team of children. It was a traditional team, if you know it was there for one season. So it's from Pindazara and Sengambe Arara and Zimbabwe. From Zimbabwe, then I went to Ireland as well. Four, I was able to phone and play for that. And I was able to play for that. Now, you, you, you were part of a team who landed the likes of Ozenzo Moyo, Chaban Masani, Desi Kalpena, just to mention very few. And you managed to win three titles in a row for a team. Just, just briefly tell us what it How was the mood? For you guys to be able to defend the league, what did it take? It's a grand way. It's not just that I'm a competitor in a championship, but if you can, most of the players, maybe about the fifty percent of the squad, so they said that they're from much nice from other Highlanders. So we knew each other from childhood. Then my sister first team, so she's not that sad at all. So it's quite easy because you have to learn to learn so learn to learn so low, you need to learn a part, you need to learn a part. But if development of culture is a lot of too much junior, junior level, because we must be able to sing with play together for a long time. Which one of those three championships was the best for you? Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm going to mention something that has to do with the junior policy, which is almost 50% of the guys who grew up to do. Now, it's like a coma, we will approach that issue over maybe Manchester something to share. Now, that you're playing for Manchester United. Yeah, I'm going to mention something that has to do with the junior policy, which is almost 50% of the guys who grew up to do. Now, it's like a coma, we will approach that issue over maybe Manchester something to share. Now, that you're playing for Manchester United. Yeah, I'm going to mention to just uh, give us an insight, what does it take now to be a player? Do you think there's been a, a difference in the commitment of former players compared to the generation and, and what you are seeing today in the field of play? What is easy to change and what is easy to change? Then from the players themselves, like like kind of from teams from Alare, Unawai, do you think they're still determined in having that fighting spirit just like but I have commitment, but like I say, with all these cats, they are cheering. That's the case for all of us. They are cheering. It's more social scientific. So we need to be there. So the cool, my coaching, my tactics, the match is so cheering. So it was a lot of things, but the game is quite complicated. So I think many of the things are very simple, which are very basic. 
now the a few names like the Natsopom Kupali, Sesibes of Overtal and Vision, the Pana, Ondiraga, the Dynamos. Most of the guys who play football, they are coaching, but you must have said we cannot all be managers in football. So, uh, which dimension are you taking? Which route are you taking? Who's being involved in the game of football? No, I think it's a very important I am passionate about development of the game from grassroots to say that so it's mostly like the sports management, the, the scouting. It's where my passion is and I think I will better save on that theory. Now what inspired you to, to move into sports and administration? You, you, you went all the names in the line for you to say you know that. I think me and and at the same time, also people in the Sanzana in the vicinity of Zimbabwe football. Uh, sometimes every corner mismanagement of So Martin my wish was to make a difference, to change those things, find new economy my but with little resources, many figure to the right people. Like which means you are not going to marry me with the development family to the right channels. Now, of football is a family. The program that I have always found is a most thing on a sponsorship, how to market the sponsorship, let's say, like a cap administration. Then, when it comes to administration, also, yes, it's because it is by introducing cap licensing and the cap licensing upon their resistance to each other. But the problem is that their resistance is good. Most club licensing is they are more focused on clubs of coaching, but they are not focusing on other areas. But as a ZIFA, as an organization, what other areas that are available for? Like our councils, our state, they are doing their official admit, our requirements, the club licensing, our teams that are meeting, our clubs, our teams, our offices, everything is done with the club licensing. For the club licensing, it covers a lot of topics. But imagine that this is about a focus on the club licensing, it covers a lot of topics. But imagine that this is about a focus is mostly on coaching which is not good because gradually we will look up but we will come step by step step by step okay now as we are still touching on the issue of um, development in the football so yes i'm taking a comment when you mentioned something you do with uh what do you guys 50 percent of the team you were at you you grew up together right now now kind of the game of football as it is right now uh, are you seeing any improvement or there is a decline when it comes to player management and track management? There is improvement. It is with the other, but if we have the funding, the amount of resources, I think there are a lot of academies in my community, as well as well. But there are many teams that they can implement, they put the money in the money, they can put the money in many ways, from the way to cut the channel to do that. They are allowed to fundraise, but the challenge is we have full fundraiser, but if you are target market, you have to fundraise with the money that is supporting your account. But but as right now as it is because it's more more so it's affecting a lot of things. Yeah. But the fundraising I guess are accordable actually. Now we've been uh, discussing so much inside the portal of uh if you are la pek high you 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 are destined from continent South Chicken. Africa and also Canada. I was trying to say, 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 I was yeah. But the uh, South Africa, what is good is even if you must take a money around, but they uh, find it from the PSA, from the motherboard. So, what I'm a grant, you take my caps, you buy a bunch of four fans, you buy a bunch of people who take cover my cost, like traveling, like uh, transport. Uh, so, those things, if you sing a bunch of people, I want to have a place about it. Sponsor one brings my exchange programs. See, food from that side, you can bring a lot of things now. Uh, Will you still follow my letters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is how, how much is Hadenda's money? Let's try to understand which team is that? Oh, they had an idea. I don't know. Hadenda's a big team in Southern Africa. Hadenda's a big team. It's a big brand because 
it's not the meaning yet, but most of the people about Bio, about Surat, the Lala, the Trainer, about the outside the country, by Apple and other South Africa, they did wage in the members that are there. So, I didn't say French, like Kate, that she's over at the side. Okay, so, it's okay, so then I find out to him, which you just as you have mentioned, which you do venture into sports administration. Uh, so, children or children with an in your pursuit. What is our children doing at the moment? At the moment, I'm involved in my soccer project. This is the team of Division 2, MCD, as in my community, where I grew up. This is Division 2, like my partners are running around like a smith center. It's in Division 2 currently. Then also, I'm involved in the FDA policy. I am a director there, I'm helping them with the scouting and also other areas. Nothing about the support because it's a team that is in the South Africa area. Okay, so right now you're having shoulders with Dama Clubs? Yeah, right now I'm having my shoulders with Dama Clubs, but also that means a personal, I've also my sports consultants, Dr. Ndongyenga, a personal team member, got involved with Dama Clubs now, working as scouts, talent, then if I recommend to other teams, it's either Zimbabwe or even South Africa, I can recommend the player. It's what I'm also doing. Okay, then um, is this goal of Zona, what have the schools done versus Witi? We've got talented people like you, who community. We have schools unfortunately to, to help my school team come in, just to come and train our door. In case maybe there's school that have discovered the Witi, they've got a bunch of kids who are good in football. It's what I'm trying to do this year. I've built a relationship with the MZD as primary school. Uh, so far, seven summer facilities are already in two teams, or to see the six that are going to come again. So my Zalama school games, I wish to identify one or two players if they could, then I can recommend them to play China and I under 14 one of my team at the Islanders or any other development site or even the class where they also as well as that. Okay, and maybe just to to bring more like a round of you um, once had speaking about tribalism in football. Hmm. How much of an impact has it has it had again in it? Do you think uh, it's, it's affecting the game, uh, which from change we see it from. It is having an impact on our tribalism at that particular time. It will affect our people because, like, if Islanders, if most people are in Zalala who are Islanders, most people, if Islanders are not doing well, then the people who are not doing well, they are not doing well, they are But if they are doing well, the Islanders, those Shonas are working on our people that are working on So it was bringing a lot of food. He debate from other people who have different opinions. Fine, I understand, but we are not very passionate about it. But at the end of the day, that's what I was trying to address into the road. Some cases are banana. If you talk about your name, that there was always that are from where the show now in the middle of Tonga or here, they are not that are. We are going to have to find the easy side that we will show. Only one is to do well for Ireland. That's what they are. And that's what Ireland is the big team. That we have one of our like also play for the national team. You can also go outside the side. So I'm trying to address that situation. Now, deliberately, I'll say this to Uji. Approaching the game on Sunday, what would you have to say to the fans? Mabazale, once they know Uji, this is coming from Umundo and the Deepwoods, I'm thinking it's going to have an impact. What do you have to say? What are the fans supposed to do? This is a travel thing, as I said. Uh, if anyone is a viewer, the game must be the winner. Sing a chicky chicky, sing a chai. But at the end of the day, sing a, let's say, for example, with the Ireland access to each other, the panic rounds, the team will be affected. More than I find is a PSA. And as such, the Ireland has a structure financial. That man they need it for the next game or what I'm not there as well. But it's not a class of any viewers who was on, or even whenever I ran, when I view as a class of the church, it's not right. It's not right. In the traffic, we do all the Zimbabwe that's fun by name. It came to me at the end of the day. Yeah, that's beautiful. And now, see, can you learn from you? Might you be contending for the Zephyr seats? Ah, not at the moment. I mean, I'm more interested in more development, giving a lot of fans, and also scouting and helping them with the buyer that are about to be afforded. But if the opportunity arises, then I'm saying that it's made one thing. But for now, in okay, yeah. Uche, you are doing a few things right now. So, which next nearest, nearest program? SNI is when I go. Nearest program, I wish you to collaborate with me, 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 to collaborate
that will be an achievement for my for my community in India. Because I'll be giving them to that and I'll be able to. Okay, you said it's gonna be the SM because it's a team with the Savonas VSF. Savonas Villas FC. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, Richie, for sharing with us your story as a footballer and also as an upcoming scout. Okay. You became a football. Yeah, thank you so much. Hopefully, as you as you go through, things are going to go well for you. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks a lot for joining us on Saka Sports. Okay, thank you. There we have it from Richard Choruma. He fought a lot of battles for Highlanders during the heydays uh, in the early 2000s. Uh, he's uh, passionate about football so much that uh, if you think you've got an idea or if you think you, are, you, you know a, a few players out there who are good at football but they're not getting enough exposure, or Richard Choruma is the man uh, to contact. Uh, maybe or, or, on that regard, Richie, where can people find you as you close our program? Where can they find you? There are a lot of good players out there. I can find me at the Real Madrid Center or on my numbers in Zimbabwe 0773-958-798. There you have it. Urechi is there for the checking. He's passionate about football as much as he showed his talent around. That's it for us on a Circus Sports. Join us yet for another beautiful show next week. Until then, thank you for joining us. Thank you.